Hit a zoom. DX3 smartwatch. Let's set it up. Let's go. Starting with the back. Slide the master power switch up to the on position fully charged battery before use. There is a provided cable that comes with this that you plug into the USB right. Swing that out of the way. Right there. How long do you charge it up for? A couple hours. Something like that. And how do we move this switch? A pen. So we will go ahead and move this up. There we go. Now it's in the on position. We will turn it on. We'll try this button, see if it comes on. Yep. English or French. I will choose English. United States or Canada. I will choose United States. Today, as I record this, is Christmas Eve 2023. So that would be, well, first of all, we can choose month, day, year format or day, month, year. Choose whichever you like better. So today is 1224. Oop, get there, come on. 2023. There we go. And at the time I record this, it is 105 p.m. Oh, come on. There we go. You can choose 12 or 24 hour time. Download more content to play. All right. So, the first thing to note is that this thing has 54 different screens one okay so that's screen number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen. well anyway you get the idea some of them are just the clock some of them have the date like that one's just the clock i'll get the one that has both the uh, there we go so this one has the time and the full date on it you just pick whichever one you like best. So let me... Some of these look pretty darn cool, to be honest with you. These are nice. So let me get to one... Does that... Oh yeah, there's the clock hands right there. Okay. So, anyway, you just pick the one you like best. I will go to... Okay, it already circled back. There we go. We'll go with this one. I can very easily read the time and date with this one. It does talk the time if you swipe down or up and hit the little pair of lips there. It's 1.06 p.m. Okay, you can mute volume from here or unmute and then to get rid of this just swipe down. Now if you got it from swiping down then you swipe up to remove it. This little blue face right here, if I hit this, I can interact with this face. And to get out of this, I use this. There we go. Now, as far as these buttons are concerned, there are three. This one is, I believe, the shutter button. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So I can take photos from here. I can take photos from... There's two lenses on this one. The selfie lens and the one in the front. And uh, I take a photo with this button. If I swipe down, I can swap. There we go. Hello. So I've swapped to the selfie camera here. Swipe down. There we go. Also, that symbol right there, that is your flash, which is automatic, always on, or not. Don't do the flash. 
and these guys right here let me put little there we go so I can change colors I can make my face look all weird uh. there we go put myself I'll take a photo like that there we go nice and to get out of this hit that button which goes back to this menu and if I hit it again it goes back to the time so I hit it again actually I'm sorry not that one so if I go when I do the shutter button it goes to the camera and if I hit the little oops, hit the little play button there it goes back to the photo I just took there's another way to get to this which is I believe that's the gallery right here this one yep there's my gallery yeah I only have one photo there now for video and I believe this only records 60 second clips that is this guy right here we'll get to this in a second before we get there this button what's that do that's a light now about the flashlight you can temporarily illuminate by just pressing and then letting go but if you press and hold for two seconds I think it's two seconds just wait for the sound there now it stays on and you can turn it off by pressing it again so again temporary or just press and hold till you hear the sound it shows a little symbol there get rid of it okay so now note up at the top of the screen there is a little itty bitty circle you've got one two three four five pages of stuff and then it goes back over to the left I would actually suggest to start here on the fifth page with the settings icon because it is here that we can set the volume, the brightness. You can reset the date. If you mess up the date, this is where you can go in here and reset it if you want. You can also reset the time. Which I, I don't know if this has automatic setting for leap years for the calendar or anything like that. I would leave 3D effects on. It just looks cooler. Smart wake up is fine. Smart wake up basically, well I'll get to that in a second. Now the wallpaper, kind of not what you think it is because it's for the menus. See it shows the icons and it changes. Like I'll change it over to a red. Where's that red one? There we go. And hit that. Okay, settings changed. And if I hit this button, see now it's got a red background. That's that wallpaper. So, wallpaper. You can change your language from English. This is just like the main, uh, when you first turned it on, you can change it for over from English to French, United States or Canada. In the advanced section, this is how we see how much memory we've got. 174 megabytes free. You can format it from here if you like. You can always use this as a back button, as far as I know. The image display basically means if you want to have it to fit the screen or crop, just like it says. That is for photos that you would take with this. Now with the video resolution, you can do 320 or 160. I would just leave it on 320 because 160 works, but it is a really low resolution. It's, I mean, you double the amount of videos, 60 second clips you can take, but still that's really small. Now, the auto screen off means that I'll set it just to uh, don't disable 
because it, if you do, it's, it'll run the battery down too quick. I'll just set it to 10 seconds. And then I will run back, I'll get back here in a second. But if I leave it here, okay. We'll wait 10 seconds. Then I can show you the little smart thing that it does. The screen will automatically blank out. And this is a good time to note that other than that switch on the back, there is no hard switch to turn this off. What, okay, it turned off. Before I turn it back on, or bring it back out of a sleep mode, basically. What this watch expects you to do is just charge it and then use it till it runs out of battery and then just plug it into the USB port again to charge it back up, let it sit for an hour or two. If you go and turn this off, uh, because it, right here it says, do not switch off the master power switch for daily use. If you do turn it off, what happens is that it loses the date and time settings. So you're meant to just, if you use it regularly, always leave it on. It's okay to do that. Now, if I want to bring the screen back, I think it's just tap three times. Yep, tap three times and it comes back. Or you can hit a button and that will bring it back as well. Let's go back over to settings. Okay. Okay, so we did the auto screen. Indoor light frequency we can choose for 50 hertz or 60 hertz. I'm not even sure why this is here, but it's there. Okay. There are parental controls in this. To access parental controls, hold your finger on the screen for three seconds until the screen turns red. To access, tap the blue button three times. 19 times two, and then you have to solve a math question <laughs> to get into the parental control. But that is, if you really want to enable the parental controls, you have to do that, tap the screen, solve a math problem, and you can get in there and set your parents stuff if you want to. The factory reset, you should never have to touch this. You shouldn't. But if you want to, you can reset all the factory settings. It will shut down, reboot. You have to set the time and the date all over again. So, no, I don't want to do that. And just the uh, compliance statement here in itty bitty teeny tiny text. And that's it for settings. Okay, now we're back to the first page of menus here. You got your camera, you've got your video camera. Again, remember that you can swap screens up here, you know, back and forth. And you take the photo down here and you can view a gallery here. Also remember your gallery is here as well. Now up to this one, this is a voice recorder. New voice recording. Hello! Okay, and I'll play it back. Hello! I will delete that. That's all that does. Next page games. We have three games, Cat Diver, Super Baker, Present Express. I'll do a level of each one of these to show, show you how it works. Level one. You can choose the level, uh, what level you want, but only if you've uh, earned it. So I can't go to level two yet because I haven't beaten level one. So, level one. So it's telling me how to play. Okay, I have to get keys. Eight of them. And the, it's up here how many I have collected so far. Two keys. Three, four. Oh, get over there. Six. Seven. Okay, so 
Now I just wait until the level's done. I just keep going. Ooh, give me that one. Oh, I didn't get it. Oop, get out of the way. Okay. And now I can do level two. And the back out of this game, this button right here. Quit. Yep. And back out. Okay. That's Cat Diver. Super Baker. Where you just pick the correct confectionery and feed it to the child. Level one. Gotta get 80 coins. 80 points, however it said. Okay, I need that thing. So that's right there. Drag and drag. Okay, I need that donut. Okay. Tap, drag. I need that piece of cake. Tap, drag. Donut. What happens if you get the wrong one? Well, I'll show you. Okay, that's the wrong one. No. You don't get a point for it, basically. Okay, I'll just finish this up. Five seconds to go. Come on. Ooh, right in the nick of time. I think I needed 50 or 80, and I got 100, so I went to the next level. And you go to the next level. So anyway, same as before. Back out with this. Back out. All right. And lastly, there we go. Present Express. Level one, start. So you have to make the path clear, is what you have to do. I need 60 to go to level the next level. It's a little confusing at first, but once you do it, then you're fine. The green ones, I have to turn them around. See, I turned around these two, and now the path is clear for the presents to go through. That's it. That's all you have to do. You just have to move the pieces so that the path is cleared for presents to go through. And that's it. We got three games, so we're done there. Go back. Okay. Stay alert and be aware of your surroundings while playing. Gotcha. I don't know if I can show this one because what you're supposed to do is move the watch around use the camera, and capture monsters. So you can see which monsters you've captured here. I don't think I can actually show this one in this, with a stationary camera. Yeah. When a monster is near, move your watch to find its color trace. So you're watching for a specific color, like yellow, and then you tap the, the color when you get it in your sight like that and then you start shooting little laser beams when the monster gets close and then it will capture the monster it sounds complicated it's not sometimes you'll have to connect the dots and cast a spell to capture the monster which is a little connect the dots thing like that yeah it's showing like a z here so you have to do one of these and then tap 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 that's your casting of a spell. 
and then you capture the monster. So next monster, 10 steps. What that means is that you have to walk with the watch and move your arm backward and forward because there is an accelerometer in this. And then you will see what it showed on the instructions because I can't do it from here from a stationary camera. I'd actually have to be walking with the watch to make it work. Okay, so there's that one. The little shakers there. This also uses the accelerometer. Now what the one I will show here is magic one. Now if I shake it around, that's what that does. So if I was to wave my hand, that's how that works. If I do the same thing with the laser sword, more or less the same thing. Sneaky tiptoe. Oh, let's do the train. You get the idea. What other one they have here? Ooh, a rocket jump. Princess Waltz, Boing Bounce, Speedy Racer. That sounds cool. Fast Flyer, Big Stomper, and then back to Magic One. These aren't necessarily games per se, they're just things you can use the accelerometer inside this for. So that's that. This one, as far as Time I could, master. as far as I could tell, the only thing you can do here is tap the screen to learn. Yeah, well, it says tap the screen to learn. It's eight o'clock a.m. So I can change. This doesn't affect the main clock. All I do here is I pick a an hour, and then I can pick a minute. Oh, back to minute. Come on, give me a minute. There we go. Minute. So when I hit the owl, it will say 5.04 a.m. It's 5.04 a.m. And I believe that's all this does. It's called the Time Master. This and this I can't show. Now this one is only if you have two Kidazoom watches. They can talk to each other where you can do versus games. I only have one. Can't show that one. This one is just for scanning uh, QR codes. So you can scan, or they call it a DX3 code, but you can scan codes between each, and it brings up the camera that you can go and scan a code with. Again, that's the one I can't show. And this and this, you'll notice at the bottom of each one, if I can focus that, you can kind of see it there. There's little QRs at the bottom bottom of each one. Let's see if I can get that further back. Yeah, you can kind of see what I'm talking about there. Oh, there we go. So if I go to this one, I can go and I can, yeah, I can make cards and things like that. Yeah, and you, but you have to connect between two watches to make it work and then scan it and such. And which it does show on the front here. Flashlight's right there, and then the camera in the front. And the symbol's supposed to mean that, oh, okay, if you hold two watches next to each other, then you can scan little codes between the watches to make them work. But again, I don't have two of them, so I can't really do it. You can do that for cards and little recipes and things of that sort. Okay, this guy. Oh, I don't remember what this was. Oh, photo clock. Okay. Okay, where am I? No, I want the front. There we go. Ah. Oh, there we go. Ah, face created. Okay. Good. Okay, there it is. Will I see it in the front? Oh, I do! Oh, that's neat. 
So you can do create your own clock face with that. There's nice. I that is a cool feature. Okay. So that's that. And I can go there and either look at I can delete. Clock face deleted. Okay, good. Yep. Should be no more in there. Nope. Okay. This guy. This again is a an accelerometer thing where you do little exercises. You can dance and jump. Yeah, run, jump, dance. Yep, that's it. And if I hit this and start, I might be able to do this here. See if I can make it work. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was able to make it work, but it's using the accelerometer to, sim to detect when they're running, dancing, jumping, or whatever. Easy way to do exercise. Nice. This is... Yeah, I can't show this one either. You can go to the Learning Lodge to download more apps, clock faces, and games. So this is technically upgradable, sort of. Connect the watch with your computer with the micro USB cable. And then you can get download stuff. This guy, th this is only a pedometer, I think. Oh. Stop. Pedometer. Yep, yeah, that's, okay, yeah. It's only a pedometer, so you start it, walk around, count your steps. So if you want a really simple step counter, that's what that's for. And then you can view your records, your high score, goal achievements and such. I like that that's in here though, that's a nice feature. Final page. Start up at the top left. We have an alarm. Simple countdown timer. Stopwatch. The calendar. The calendar doesn't do much other than show you the calendar. So like I said, today is December 24. And I can go to the next month. Can't tap anything here, but that's okay because that's what the daily reminders are for, which I'll get to in a second. I can set an alarm here to go at a. So I would set the alarm. Set your time here. And then. Okay. Alarm is on. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have showed one more thing. You can choose what alarm tone you want. I'm just seeing how many there are. Oh, you can make your own alarm tone. That's cool. Alarm! Oh, it didn't do it. Alarm! Hello! Alarm! Hello! Okay. That's my alarm. <laughs> and alarm is on and I can disable the alarm just like that pretty easy back okay the timer is really simple you just set the I will set it to zero minute five seconds we'll do a five second timer 
and I choose what type of animation I want to see. I'll do the cat. Easy enough. Stopwatch again, very easy. Start. Stop. Reset. I can choose what I want to see for the stopwatch style for animation. Stop. Reset. That's that. Calendar I showed you. Okay. I'll go back. Now for this one here, top right. This is where, now while we couldn't add anything from the calendar, you can do it from here for adding a daily reminder. You can choose your reminder icon to remind yourself such as when to play a piano and at what time and then we'll say 8 o'clock. Reminder created. There it is. Easy enough. And get rid of it here. Okay. Simple. Calculator. You can choose from addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. One plus one is two. Two minus one is one, of course. That's how that works. Real simple. And then settings. I already went through this with you. And then back to the front. Let me get a different. There we go. That is what I can show you about this. Now, I'm sorry that I could not show the uh, the, the uh, features where you need two. I don't have two of them. I only have one. I got to admit, this has got a lot of nice features in it. Uh, this is one of the better kids' smart watches I've seen. VTech really does this one right. It. it I do really like the way that they set this up. I do like the strap on it. This is nice. It actually does fit my wrist. Actually, wait, I'll put it on because I got a 6.6 .6 inch wrist. Let's put this on. The strap is wide, which I like. It doesn't feel, the strap surprisingly does not feel plasticky. It's got a nice rubberized feel to it. Yeah, there it is. And tap, tap, tap. There we go. This is the watch that a kid gets before moving up to the big boy and big girl watch. Which would be like uh, Apple Watch or something like that. Or a Samsung Galaxy Watch. But this would be a step right before that. Feels good doesn't irritate the wrist very nice yeah I gotta set it for longer than, than 10 seconds but it works so and I hope you're able to make it work after watching this see ya